Hello, my castaways, and welcome back to Deep Play. It's been quite a while since the last episode, and you can thank the multiplayer update for that. Not willing to risk everything we've done here being sacrificed to the sinking spawn point glitch, I held off on making these episodes in favor of completing a different and much more in-depth project. So if you want to see what I've been up to, go check out my Ultimate Stranded Deep leveling guide. Even if you're a veteran player, I guarantee this video will teach you several things you didn't know about this game, and some of them are pretty shocking. Anyways, tired of waiting on the multiplayer version of the game to be properly patched, I've copied everything of Deep Play over to the experimental version of the game, which is the most up-to-date version that does not exhibit the problems of the multiplayer update. And I'm happy to report that it seems everything works as intended, and we can get back to some regular Deep Play episodes. Last episode, we checked out Sunset Dweller's Cave by Herja Elgrim, and finally, after a two-month break, we're continuing our journey through the most popular custom islands of the Stranded Deep community. It's good to be back. Now let's get into it. All right, we are back at like six in the morning on day 91. It has been quite a break since the last time we were here, but uh, we're gonna get right back into it. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, we went to, hmm, what was it? Sunset Dwellers Cave, I think it's that one. It might actually be, no, 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 it is. It, it's this one right here. So that's Sunset Dwellers Cave, which we checked out last time. Uh, very cosmetic, very large, uh, very pretty island, but not a lot on it. Anyways, what we're going to do today is we're going to be going off in, I think it's this direction. So uh, where we left off last time is that uh, we were exploring this island as the last in this whole area of the map. And uh, now that we've explored this, we're going to go off into the, I think it's southeast direction towards... Uh, the kind of string of islands that's down along this way and uh, we're gonna check out um, one of the bigger ones I think it's this large one that's like right in here but uh, it's been a while since I've been here in uh, the deep play universe so what we're gonna do is go downstairs get on the uh, uh, what is it the bloat the boat and uh, we're gonna drive off down there. So we only have half of a tank in the um, old slingshot up there. We have uh, basically a full tank down here and then two full cans of gas. So we need to start uh, paying attention to our gas levels a little bit more intently. I think I can make this. Awesome. So we're gonna start paying a little bit more attention to our gas levels and uh, we will eventually get all the potatoes we found in this area distilled up into fuel and do one last uh, trip back to the home island. For now, I want to make sure we got our gas. Hey, there we go. One, two, oh, okay. We have almost three full tanks of gas, so that should be plenty to get around and then also get back, especially with the extra fuel that we have up here. So, let's go ahead and get going. Oh. I hope I can make this. Yeah, I think we're alright. So yeah, like I said, I think this uh, destination island we're going to... Ooh, that was a close one. Uh, is in between Caldera Serpentina, and I think this is Sweet Bitterness down here. Um, yeah, I think that's it, actually. Right there. So, when we were flying around doing the whole checking out this area uh, with our gyrocopter last episode, or episode two ago, this was a huge, huge island off in the distance, and I am really curious to check it out. I feel like it's the perfect thing to come back into the uh, deep play episodes with after our two-month break. Um, so as I explained in the intro, the break was due to the sinking spawn point glitches that were happening all over uh, multiplayer, and not willing to sacrifice this game to, you know, whatever may happen with that, whether they're actually going to be reclaimable or not after uh, Beam Team gets it fixed. I opted to just not make some of these deep play episodes and instead opted to work on a project I've been working on in the meantime, which is basically to fill in all the blanks on the Strain of Deep wiki um, in terms of leveling and skills and figuring out exact values and stuff, and that's exactly what we've done. We, uh, oh, is this Sunset Dweller's Cave? I'm going to feel real dumb if it is. Um, but anyways, uh, go check out my uh, ultimate leveling guide for Stranded Deep, which I just... I uh, know, I don't think this is Sunset Dwellers Cave. That looks a little too on the nose. Uh, go check out my ultimate leveling guide for Stranded Deep. Even if you are a veteran player, as I said in the intro, you are guaranteed to find some stuff that you did not know before, because 
I put a full six months into this, and uh, I think, you know, no, without sounding like I'm bragging too much, I think I have a pretty good reason to say that I'm a pretty advanced Stranded Deep player, and even I found all kinds of stuff that I had no idea was going on. So, uh, yeah, go check it out. There's also some pretty interesting, funny stuff in there, and, uh, yeah, that's my pitch for my leveling video. So, why I've been gone, and what I've been doing while I've been gone. All right, let's get this place explored. Well, obviously I saw this huge mouth, uh, like, to a cave entrance. What the hell? Oh, wonky yucca. All right. Uh, this giant cave entrance over here. So that's going to be the first place we're going to go check out. Hmm. Somebody wasn't very careful with their clipping. Hmm, I was thinking we could get under there. All right, let's go check this place out. Got plenty of little enemies. Uh. Ah. Uh. All right. Oh, lots of stuff. Oh, come on. I thought those are crabs here back here for a second. All right, we got some clay. Hopefully, whoa, what the hell just hit me? Is there a shark stuck down here? Might have some sand sharks. All right, I'll come back. Oh, you know what, a bit, well, I always, okay, what the hell? Yeah, we definitely have some sand sharks going on here. I always expect that these are covering like entrances to things, but that's not necessarily the case, but we're still gonna <laughs> approach it like it is. Yeah, just some clay and rocks, I'm thinking. All right, let's get out of here. I don't need to be having my health shaved off by these uh, sharks. Wow, he really took a decent chunk out of me. Oh, this should be an easy one. Lots of clay up in here. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna, oh, that's problematic, okay. We should try and get back into this season without getting poisoned. I know that I've said it, it's guaranteed to happen, but <laughs> still. Ooh. See? See what I mean? It almost happened right there. Alright, I don't think we have any underwater areas over here. Uh huh. Not this time, Mr. Snake. Man, this is a huge cave system. Oh, I didn't even think about going up. Yeah, there might be some stuff to check out up there. Walking real slow, because now that I've talked about not getting poisoned, uh, I gotta hopefully prevent against that. Alright, what do we got in here? Sure, why not? Oh yeah, refined axe. Alright, I forgot those were here, these. Nice. Perfect. Hmm. Okay, so we came in from this direction, right? Wait, did we? No, we came in from right here because we killed those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. here's that little pool. All right. I'm loving the lighting effects in this cave. It's pretty cool.
Alright, let's see what's out on this side. Well, you know what? Even if that's the entire cave system, that's that's really impressive. Somebody put a lot of work into that. Especially like carefully placing like crevices and stuff like this. Oh, hey, we are surprisingly low on health or uh, food and water. Yeah, you too. Alright. Another cave entrance, but I think this is just the one... Yeah, because we killed the snake there. Just one to in here. check out this pool oh yep that's the uh, almost poisoning pool all right let's go out of the caves in here oh my gosh did I already lose where we came in through now oh, here we go so you know thinking about the nature of Shrana deep I mean I I think it's pretty uh, likely that <laughs> probably should have addressed this much, much, much earlier in the se uh, series. But uh, it's it's pretty, you know, expected that we're going to come across a lot of like islands like this, where like the focus is giant bases and cool areas to build bases within or without. And uh, yeah, not too many like crazy things like uh, challenges or just like really, really dangerous islands. That's not really the pe the appeal of this game so much to at least to a lot of players. Uh, I find it rather appealing making an island crazy dangerous but uh you know most people i feel like are playing stranded deep to have a chill like island experience so yeah i think that's probably a lot of what we're gonna find is just chill island experiences and wonky shit like this so yeah i don't think it's uh too crazy for me to assume that these caves are the absolute main focus of this uh island not that there's anything wrong with that. But it also makes me question the presence of caves on this island makes me wonder if there's like hidden stuff around the edges or something. But I'm thinking not. Jesus Christ. Alright, yeah, that was fair. <laughs> Good lord. Alright. Back to safety. Hey! Okay. We're almost dead. <laughs> hey! I don't think I brought anything to make bandages either. I mean like this, but we need cloth. Which means that we need band- oh man. Ah. Hmm. I get the feeling that I'm going to have to make a loom, which is really annoying. And I need to do it quickly. Ah, yeah, quickly. I'm not even going to bother looking around for him. Um... Here we go. I'm not even going to bother looking around for cloth. I'm just going to make this. Ah, we need fibrous leaves to make the cloth. All right. I thought we needed lashings. I just wasn't thinking. Oh my god, I, I'm, I was talking about it, and I wasn't, obviously I'm not thinking. I 
think we just need four. Mm. All right, should be enough. <laughs> God. Uh, stop it. There, thank you. Okay, healing. Much better. I think that's the crap we came out of earlier. Yeah, seems like it. Okay. Well, guys, I think, you know, I'm thinking we may have already seen pretty much all of this island. The caves being the, the way that they are. I mean, clearly a lot of time was put into, like, decorating the island properly as it should with the, uh, you know, right trees and different spits of land and stuff, but, uh, oh, we gotta go up top. Alright, yeah, let's get up top before it gets dark. Mm, helicopter would be useful. And is this the side that I came into the island on? For some reason, I feel like no. Oh, yeah, no, 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 here's, uh, oh, okay, yeah, no. Ah, for a second I thought I didn't anchor my ship. Alright. Well, let's drop some of this stuff off. Take him. And we got a little guy over here. Alright, well, uh... If this episode is not too much longer in length, we're gonna go check out this one this episode as well. But let's find a way to get up here, and let's also, oh, uh, let's go ahead and build, oh, I don't need to build a shelter, I have a problem with dropping things, uh, do I not have my bed? Could have swore I did. Oh, damn it, must have left it at the house. Alright, let's build a shelter. Let's see if we can scout out an area with which to climb this at. Um, might be easier than we think if we can kind of billy goat up here, but uh, if not, if it's not looking like super easy, then I think what we'll do is go to sleep and then come back in the morning and uh, get that part done. Maybe from inside, in fact. Maybe we'll have to build something to get up there. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work out like that. Um, we may not even want to waste the materials to build, build it in here and instead do it from out there. I don't think I see anything that's like... Yeah, we, and we have a lot of these areas too. So if you try and climb into these areas, this is the bottom of a cliff right here, like one of these giant rocks. If you try and climb into that, you'll uh, very quickly hit like invisible stuff or just not have floor underneath you and fall straight down to your death. So uh, we're not going to mess with trying to go through these rocks or anything like that. That's not a real hole there. That's actually supposed to be stone. Yeah, you can see it right here too. There's the bottom pointing that way. Here's the bottom pointing straight down. All right, well, let's find our shelter because we're gonna be, it's gonna be dark here in a second. <laughs> the 
This would be a nice base building area, though. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is try and build something up right here and then use this as a little walkway to get up in that area. But it's already dark, so nap time. Gonna need some stairs for sure. All right, we are back the next day, 6.30 in the morning. I took a little bit of time to chop down a tree so we could get some building supplies. Um, probably need to take care of this guy too, just to have a couple more sticks. I think we're gonna need maybe three levels to get up to there, maybe four. We'll see where we get to. So nice to have maxed out harvesting. It only takes three chops to break up a uh, log for sticks. That's awesome. God, I hate that. All right. All right, let's go do it. I'm thinking... We're gonna try and do this real easy. Like, we're gonna build a couple foundation plots right here so that we can actually lay our stairs up. Um, don't know if we need three or four. Let's go ahead and build four just to be safe. We'll get this guy fleshed out at least halfway. Now let's get his stairs going. Same for him, fleshed out halfway. Now we need to do these floors. We can't do the triangle floors or else um, the angle, like the angle like here and there will make it so we can't build actual plots off of here. Like I said, I need to fill that the whole way. And another stairs. Oh, we need more sticks. All right, well that's okay because we can clear out this guy since we already have the plot above him. Wait, do I not have max harvesting? I do. Then should I not get four sticks back from a wood foundation? I should. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Um. Not exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can just rotate. There we go. I think we can just do it from here. Ooh, hey. <laughs> cool. Yeah, all right, nice. We got it. Not the best. I might go ahead and just build out an extra area on there. <laughs> just gonna fill these in and grab this. And we should be able to do another one. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? Come on. Why can I not? What's your problem? Oh, because I need to put the floor underneath here. Yeah, that's probably it. See if we can get that stairs built. Damn it. Alright. It's gonna be in the rock too much. Can I put it this way? Yeah, let's just do it this way.
I don't think that really helped very much, except to maybe prevent against fall damage down there, but that's not the point. So, um, let's see if we can climb up this. Awesome, we can climb up this. Then maybe over here. Yeah, awesome, cool. Now that we've put in so much work, we're not going to find anything up here now. <laughs> it may not be true. Might have spotted something just over there. Whoa. Pretty standard top of cliff areas. Yeah. Looking like it's just trees. And really weird trees that I guess we gotta get up there. So can't yeah, we can totally get up there. At the very least, this is to say we got to the highest point in the island. Ooh. Hey, look at us. Top of the world, baby. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's about it for this island. I don't see anything else of, uh, of note. I don't think we missed anything. Maybe we can shimmy on down in here. Uh, that looks dangerous. Yeah, that's pretty dangerous too, huh? I will say, whoever built this island definitely put a lot of sheer cliffs in there. Shit, can I not get back up? Oh no, I should be fine. Okay, I think we're all right. Um, did we come up from over here? Probably not, but looks like it's not too crazy steep. I mean, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't do it in real life, but. All right, well, let's go check out that tiny little thing over there. Not exactly a very fruitful island. We got a lot of clay, that's nice. However, I don't foresee myself building any, like, absolutely massive clay structures um, until maybe the very end, so it's not going to be very handy in the meantime. Okay, yeah, let's go check out that little island over there. Um, right there. I guess it's going to be a two-island episode. I'm also expecting this island is... <laughs> I say I'm expecting. I maybe, I maybe kind of know what's on this island just a little bit. But uh, it's not going to be too big of a deal. Just uh, <laughs> And that was like almost a double entendre too. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. It's a cool little island. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Alright, bye. Giant caves. Fun time. Now, despite its size, I do know for a fact that this island is rather dangerous. But almost certainly not for the reason that you'd expect. And I know what's on this island simply because I made it. <laughs> but I, uh, this was part of a little pet project of mine after, uh, before starting the series. But uh, after I was looking through a lot of the Steam maps and seeing, uh, you know, ones that weren't in this weren't in this series. Oh, hey, that's not supposed to happen. Alright, looks like we have some interesting things. Um, seeing a lot of the Steam maps in this, uh, for this game being, like, you know, based off of, uh, I can't drop anchor here. Based off of, uh, sorry, I'm stumbling around my words so much. Based off of, like, adjusting the, uh, sprite sizes for a lot of things, like we saw with the, uh, Seafort bridges over on a couple of different islands, actually to create like large platforms and stuff so I decided to go the opposite direction of it and I made a tiny little island yeah <laughs> oh shit right there's things on this bye 
All right, I'm gonna. Mm, the creation of this island included a lot of snakes, and I'm gonna clear them out because uh, I don't want to get poisoned. Like I said, so so obviously some things went wrong. If I'm my best guess is that uh, so this all worked in the tests that I did before I even started this series, uh, creating all of these things as a tenth of the scale and then uh, putting them on this island. So like this kind of thing was not happening at all. Wow, this is crazy. Um, so, so I don't think you can really quite see it, but underneath here, yeah, you can just barely see it. Underneath here, this is one of those giant ships that I shrunk down to a really small size. I guess all the containers fell out of them. Uh, still interesting, but <laughs> weird. Hi, floating koala fruit. Hmm. I guess I didn't change where this thing was. Um, anyways, so yeah, this is a giant uh, container ship, but I guess all of the things that are inside of it, like the wooden containers and regular containers that are static and doors and stuff, yeah, that's helpful, um, all are their actual normal size, so <laughs> it just makes this big pile of trash. Like I said, this uh, did not work like this in my test. This actually all worked correctly, so I'm guessing something with one of the last two or three updates that they just implemented, either with multiplayer or without, uh, changed that somehow. So, hmm. Same for this little guy. Now, uh, I'm real hesitant to step into this, or onto this, rather, because I put some tiny little boars in here. Uh, hogs, not boars. And they still hit just as hard as they normally do. It's a lashing. Uh, I thought it was a snake. They still hit just as hard as they normally do, and because they're smaller size and I'm so huge, they can hit me like a lot of times really rapidly. So when testing this island out, um, a lot of times I die. I guess is what I'm saying. Here, I got an idea. And there's a thousand sharks around here too. But yeah, I kind of wanted just to do this. Uh, this island is like an exercise and like the opposite of what most people do and make a bunch of really tiny stuff and just, I don't know, see how it looks. Oh my god, open the container. Thank you. Binoculars, not just good for looking at things in the distance. So I have our little, our little uh, starting ship here. And he should be starting off in this area I don't know why he ended up over here probably a lot of things exploded out of this area as you can see all the coconuts went absolutely crazy and uh, we have some really massive cura fruit down there too but um, hmm. we have our little shipwreck here our tiny little shelter I don't know why I find this so funny that I'm just looking through, looking uh, at this stuff through a, a giant spyglass. All right, I'm gonna um, get risky and try and pull some of these coconuts off here and not die. Oh my god, am I stuck? <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you couldn't even see where those guys were. What the hell? And there's also sharks in this water, too. So that's also... No, oh, come on. Get out of here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Ah, oh, God. All right, yeah, this place is actually a death trap. I don't even want to... I'm like, I'm legitimately scared. This is, like, easily the most dangerous island I've ever been on. Giant aloe. So, yeah, it took a little bit of work. And, uh, interestingly enough, these things, so the objects in the game, uh, wherever you place them in the cartographer, they actually have a preset heights that they snap to. So, uh, this whole, like, little sandy floor that I made to it was actually at just a slightly lower level. And because the objects were trying to snap to that, they were falling underneath the floor. And, uh, I had to raise up this little bit here. And, uh, 
to make it match where the objects actually sit. So they'll either sit here or a quarter of a scale underneath that, which is like eh, probably like from here to the water. Uh, maybe like here to the water. I don't know. Just some. If you're keeping track of all of it. I really wish I could see where these. Oh, hey, there's one of the boars. Yeah. He doesn't run so well anymore. Kind of just glides. Well, obviously we're going to have to kill them, or try to kill them, which might be a whole hell of a lot harder than I expect. Because we got to find them first. <laughs> How are these so hard to find? Where'd they all go? Come on. <laughs> Voice crack, Jesus. Alright, we got pretty full health. I'm gonna try and pick up some more stuff around here. <gasps> Damn it! Little bastards. Oh. That's why he's flying around. <laughs> Man. Call myself Speedy Deep. Jesus. All right, let's try for it. Oh my god. There's no way. Ah, uh, now I'm off. All right, that's obviously not going to work. <laughs> Maybe I can get him from right here. <gasps> Don't you dare. Damn it. Almost. <sighs> Alright, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, alright, come on. Oh, come on. I got him! <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe I actually hit him. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> At least I can see where the hell he is now. I wonder if I can get up on top of this. Hold on, let's see. Got him. All right, yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. No, let me out. <laughs> all right, so, uh,. We got a giant boar's head. I don't know where the other one is. I feel like there's two. There may only be this one. The other one might have fallen to the floor. Oh my gosh. Ah! Alright, yeah, we're not gonna do another another one. That's uh too dangerous for my blood. Okay, well with this uh tiny little preview, I think that's where we're gonna call it for today, especially since it's uh getting dark over here. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this island, and I hope you definitely enjoyed this island. Uh, this took a surprising amount of time to make, and uh, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I find it absolutely hilarious and uh, actually a whole lot of fun. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for our um, re-airing of Deep Play, and uh, when we come back next episode, I'm going to take out all these sharks and uh, see what else I can get up out of here. Maybe we can find some interesting stuff in that... Uh, cargo ship over here and then we're gonna head back to a uh, giant cave ball over here and then maybe hit some of the surrounding islands in the distance anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this thank you for watching and as always keep on surviving